Hey everyone, it's Joyelle and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to kind of, I'm not going to call it a rant. I'm going to maybe call it like a passionate speech about all the reasons why I love my type 4 afro textured hair and all the reasons that I think anyone who has it should. But of course, before we get started, please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. We are so close to 50k! 50,000 subscribers already. You guys are insanely awesome. And of course, I promise that once we reach that, that I would be sending any one of you any product line of your choice. So don't forget to click that. Also, let me introduce you to this week's promo. If you're stressed, so is your gut. That's because your microbiome is directly influenced by your mood and hormones. And your microbiome doesn't just affect your intestines, it influences other organs, including your brain. By keeping beneficial bacteria at healthy levels, you can improve your resilience to adversity. Join Dr. Janelle Clayton with Anatomy Apothecary in the 30-day Gut Health Wellness and Gut Health Startup today for just $33. You'll receive a list of medical-grade nutritional and gut health supplements, all available in the Anatomy Apothecary Gut Health Store plus free shipping. Buy the 30-day gut health module and gain free Anatomy Apothecary membership with purchase of the program. Starting July 15th and August 1st, 2020, register now at the link down below. And if you're the owner of a business, especially a black-owned business, please send me an email at charmainejoyel at gmail.com. I'd love to promote you, but let's get started. First things first, my hair is not in an afro today. I have been, as you guys know, as I start to get a little bit further on this hair journey, I have been stretching my hair in order to promote retaining length and also these stinking berry knots. Like, ugh. Ugh. Also, today, I don't have any makeup on. I've been liking how my face is looking. I like how my skin is starting to look over the last week or so. I've been face masking a lot. So I thought that today I'd give my skin a break since we're just staying low key right now. I wanted, again, I wanted to talk about why I love my afro, why I love my hair type. The most obvious is that, and I've said this in past videos, is that my natural hair is an extension of myself. Like, it's naturally me. And I no longer wanted to basic, basically hate myself. And the last decision I had to make in fully and being able to fully accept and love myself for who I am was to finally wear my natural hair. I had had one or two instances where I had gone natural, mostly against my will from either a bad hair dye job to, you know, relaxers breaking off, that kind of thing. But this is the first time and the longest that I have ever been natural, which has been, yeah, back in April 7th was my two year natural hair journey anniversary. So for me, you know, constantly wearing my hair not in its natural straight state, never really knowing what it looked like, how to take care of it, what it could possibly look like. I didn't know what it was like to really be a hundred percent myself. Personally, after having the experience that I have had over the last two years with my natural hair and being able to, I guess, I'm not gonna say it, but, if, but just, just based off comments that you guys have made, you know, now that I feel like I'm a part of the natural hair community now that my channel has been built up a little bit more and being able to work with and get to know with some of the other you know natural hair creators just discovering their channels and just researching and learning a lot more about type 4 hair I undoubtedly can say that I personally believe type 4 hair is the you most unique hair type maybe I'm biased because it is my hair type but I, it's it's so versatile. It's so or versatile. We can wear it in a beautiful, fluffy, perfectly round or untamed afro. We can wear it long and stretched and beautiful chunky twist outs. We can straighten it if we really want to. There's almost no hairstyle that you can't do with black hair. Maybe it is the rarest hair type. I'm not sure. Maybe for me, when I say that I feel like afro textured or um, Type 4 hair is the rarest hair type. What I mean by that is I think it's the rarest hair type to be seen worn out or to be seen just worn in general because again, now, you know, thank goodness for the natural hair movement and for more, you know, black Americans, African Americans kind of standing up and being like, no, you're not gonna have control over what my hair looks like. We are beginning to see, you know, Afro textured hairstyles, type 4 hairstyles be worn out more, but 
we still have a lot of us who still relax or you know this isn't a dig on anybody but for those who maybe still even wear wigs which I know a lot of you use as like a protective hairstyle I haven't tried it yet but I have heard that you guys have had amazing results you know keeping your hair braided and protected under wigs but you know another reason probably for type 4 hair not being really shown too much is that you know it is it is also fragile so <laughs> you can't just go out you know wearing it all willy-nilly all all the time I'm beginning to learn this just because again fairy knots and the the detangling process is a nightmare sometimes <laughs> so I have been wearing mine stretched a lot more often I wish I had more volume today but today is not that day one of the other reasons that I really just love my afro and just like love wearing my afro most of the time is because personally I I just I love how it frames my face I think that it matches me perfectly like aesthetically I I love the look of my afro I, I just I love how it kind of frames and protects my face in a sense it's just kind of like uniquely me I feel the most comfortable in my afro like I love my stretched hair yeah of course but there's just something about my afro that just I don't know maybe maybe this is just me but I'd love for other people who maybe feel the same way but there's some sort of um feeling it's like a feeling of protection almost I don't know if you guys remember my my video where I was walking my dogs one night when a man on a bike came up and smacked me in the back of the head um luckily my afro did absorb most of his smack and part of me couldn't help but think that that's like added benefit of my afro like it was there to per <laughs> You know, kind of like it was almost there to protect my head in more ways than one, right? Seeing afros are so rare for me. Maybe it's because I do live in Arizona and that I'm from the, you know, the Northwest, Washington State specifically, that I, you know, that I haven't had the pleasure or benefit of, you know, being around, you know, larger black communities or just black people in general. So maybe that's another reason I don't see it very often. But for me and where I'm at, just afros are so rare and it's... If you hear the lines going crazy, Clementine is, uh, she's got the, uh, zoomies right now, so she's just, like, going, going, going. But afros are just so rare, and I just, I just, for me, wearing my afro is what makes me feel beautiful and confident, and that's one of the reasons why it has continued to be my favorite hairstyle. Um, but I think that the afro just really symbolizes freedom and you know, natural beauty and and just like a celebration of like who you are and where you're from. And I am so proud to finally be able to say that, you know, that I feel this way because for so long I felt so ugly and unworthy from being told like that I was disgusting and ugly and undesirable. And I finally, finally, I don't feel that way and I don't let those words hurt me. And so for me, being able to wear my afro, you know, I wear it proudly because it, for me it symbolizes a mark in my own personal growth and my own personal journey that I have finally been able to, been able to meet, which is, you know, self-confidence, self-esteem, self-value. I'm not sure if you guys have seen this picture. You probably have. <laughs> but there's this picture where it has on one side different styles of type 4 hair and then the different plants that the hair resembles in nature. I love that picture. I absolutely love it. I have always thought, like, when I picture Mother Nature, I don't know about you guys, but when I picture Mother Nature, like, I can see Mother Nature being represented perfectly as a black woman. I feel like we have the hair that represents or that can resemble beautiful trees and beautiful flowers and bushes and then you know the dark melanated skin that just reflects sunlight absorbs sunlight protects from sunlight it makes like going natural more fun because it's like you know I'm natural natural like look at me like you can straight up find me in nature like I just I don't know there's something about that I'm having a Pocahontas moment ignore me and then I don't I don't I hate it when people say that they think natural hair or more like, excuse me, more like type 4 hair, especially short type 4 hair is like, it's like unfeminine. You, you don't look very feminine with it. Excuse me, but I've had short natural hair and I'm finally, I would consider, would you guys consider this long or like medium? But like, I've never felt unfeminine with my natural hair. I've, in fact, I've felt more feminine with my natural hair. Personally, I just, I don't know. I feel like it brings out my features. It makes me... 
I don't know about y'all, but people, when someone imagines a feminine woman, they, you know, see her spending lots of time on her whole aesthetic. I'm gonna tell you right now, I have put many, 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 many hours into my hair and my aesthetic. Okay? Y'all know, I literally record it for you. So, I hate when people say, oh, it just, I don't, I feel manly when I wear my natural hair, my type 4 hair, my afro, like, what? Hold on a minute, let me look up the definition of feminine, femininity. Femininity, uh, qualities or attributes regarded as characteristic of women. Let's look up femininity examples real quick. <clears throat> uh, traits traditionally cited as feminine include gentleness, empathy, humility, sensitivity, being comfortable in your own skin, not taking care of yourself. All right, mm -hmm, okay. Nowhere in there does it say that you have to have straight hair to be feminine or that you can't have natural kinky coily hair in order to be feminine. It doesn't say that. Anywhere, anywhere. I can provide photos of very beautiful, very feminine women who have afros or really kinky, coily, freaking dense, beautiful black hair. Like, that has nothing to do with it. I don't want to hear that example. I, I, I don't, I'm not here for it. No, no. Your hair type does not determine whether or not you are feminine or not. It does not, does not. Another reason I don't want to hear that they don't find it attractive or whatever the case point may be. Okay, let's be honest here. Let's take a dive into history for a second. What else have other ethnicities determined that they don't find attractive on black people? Being curvy. Kardashian said, bet. Big lips. Having a curl pattern. Uh, all these perms that I've been seeing people get, bet. So I don't want, I don't want to hear it. The, everything that they claim that is unattractive on us, they end up taking and finding attractive on everybody. So I just, I don't want, I don't want to hear it. I'm not here for it. They are so willing to go that far to copy us. Like, it's just like, it's mind blowing. It's like, wow, you guys talk a mean game, but you don't mean it. Like, you don't like my hair? Bet. You don't like my body? <laughs> Bet. You don't like my features? Bet. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. They copy it, they steal it, they try to recreate it, but they can't. Okay, that's why they all look like ducks with ant butts. That's just how it is. And I feel like those of us with type four hair, we add like this different version or like a really unique variation of femininity. And I think it's because a lot of people are intimidated by it. I think they are intimidated by our features and our hair and obvious, right? I'm preaching to the choir here. And I think that that unique beauty of ours that, you know, that really is just Hours kind of puts us on our own lane. I mean, we've always been in our own lane. Let's be honest here for a sec. We we just have our own little unique areas within so many things because there's just things that you just, you can't recreate no matter how hard you try. Okay, so uniqueness, uh, versatility, culture. There's just so many things that Afro textured hair can do and represents. I mean, I don't know. I, maybe I I really 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 want other women with my hair type that feel the same way that I do about it and I hope that they do because there's it's sometimes it's hard to come up with the the exact words on how I feel about afro textured hair kinky coily type 4 hair because it's just that amazing it's that beautiful it's that unique but basically you're beautiful don't let anybody tell you otherwise just have confidence in it. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> have confidence in it and don't let anybody tear you down about it because guess what they're just a hater and they're probably jealous. When you wear your afro tell me right I just Leave a comment down below. I can literally give you examples. How many times have you worn your afro and walked out in public and literally seen people just go? Because I can't even count how, how many times, whether they were just hating or whether they were admiring. Either way, afros and tie for hair is head turning. I don't care what anyone else says. Anywho, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I'd love for you guys to comment down below reasons why you are in love with your afro textured hair, your type 4 kinky coily hair, and maybe even stories about how you've come to accept it or when you fully began to like accept and fall in love with your, thank you Clementine, <laughs> to accept yourself. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. Keep blooming and I'll see you guys in the next video.